What is up everybody and welcome back to Alt Knots for another day here in the Yarn Dungeon where I am all about showing the world that crochet is killer. This is one of my all time favorite videos to do. Today we're going to be going through all the tags that I saved from the previous month, so April, all the yarn that I used and just search through it. What did I love? What did I hate? What am I going to order more of and what am I absolutely not going to use ever in the history of ever needs to get out of the Yarn Dungeon right now. I'm not entirely sure if I have any of those, which means we need to grab the sand planter. This thing did take another tumble, not due to my cats this time. I was just moving it around and it fell. So we have another spot that needs to have a little bit of surgery done to it. If this looks familiar, it is the sand planter that's from Spirit Halloween. You're actually supposed to put plants and things inside of it. But when I originally got it, my cat immediately knocked it off. I hadn't even used it yet. Cat knocked one of my lamps on top of this. It shattered everywhere. I put it together the best I could, but obviously I was missing some pieces still around the neck and everything here, but I have no idea where this piece is. Regardless, I'm gonna keep using this. It's just adding to the distressed look of the Sam yarn tag holder. Not as many as last month. So the thing that's kind of fun about April for me is that I like to use it to clean out some of my stash yarn. I normally try to not order more yarn for projects during April, just kind of clean up the yarn dungeon, especially dig out some of the yarn that is either discontinued or I only maybe have a half a skein of it. All of that yarn, I try to use that up in April. Starting off with one that is totally discontinued. This is Buttercream Angel Hair. This is a yarn that you can find at Joann's or you used to be able to find at Joann's. Very soft, very fluffy. I think this one is in, yeah, black. And then I had white as well. A lot of these. So let's try to find as many and just pull them out right now. Five that I found so far, all either black or white. Is it an acrylic? What is it? Yeah, 51% acrylic, 27% poly made, and 22% wool. I turned this into a scrap blanket. And I do actually have it, so let me grab it. I worked on this blanket for the entirety of the Stitch and Scream that we had during April. We watched a bunch of Halloween slash horror movies 15 days in a row. I do have that playlist linked down below in case you missed it and you want to check out some of the movies that we watched together. You can go ahead and snag the list. So this is what I finished in the entirety of those days. It's just a throw blanket. Honestly, I didn't even count. I just kind of threw everything together. Again, scrap blanket, the process or end game was to use up as much as possible of this yarn, which I did. I think I only had less than four ounces left over. And I think it was the, the white. I had way more of the white than the black. So these right here, this, this is the gopher faux. That is not this brand. That's actually Lion Brand. So I use that as well. I'm sure there'll be a tag in here. But the white and black, that is what the buttercream looks like. Very fluffy, almost rustic looking. This has actually been washed a couple times now and it holds up really well. Since there is wool in it, I don't throw this in the dryer. It's been in the washer a couple times on delicate and then I just lay it flat to dry. It'd be a really good one too for summertime, I'm thinking, because it almost ends up like a throw a little bit. It's not too long, but it's also not little enough that you can't be covered up and cozy. But for like hanging out in the evening when it gets a little bit cooler, I think this will be nice. Regardless, this was made for my movie room, so that is where it's residing right now. Let's see if I can find the tag for the gopher faux. And I'm also gonna pull it up and see if the brand is actually at Joann's still. Maybe there was just a rebranding of it because when I type this into Joann's, it comes up with a K and C Lux Craft Angel Hair. It is on clearance right now, but when I pull it up, it looks very, very similar otherwise. Apart from the fact that this is pink, it looks very similar to what I'm using. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that's exactly what it is because the content, it says 50% acrylic, 28% nylon, and 22% wool. So, oh my gosh, I almost dropped that again. But almost exactly what this is, 
If you saw this and you love this, I would go ahead and check that out. Just go ahead and type in KNC, I'll link it down below, but KNC Lux Craft Angel Hair. It doesn't look like you can find it in stores at this second, but online they have all the colors and there are quite a few colors and it's on sale at the moment. So it's $3 for one skein of yarn. I don't know what I bought all this for because I had a lot of it, obviously enough to make a big throw. I'm not entirely sure what I used it for, but I know that I definitely paid eight dollars per skein so three dollars that's a pretty good deal next up i have a ton of this stuff so red heart super saver this is not a yarn that i use that often but i have a ton of it i have a ton of red heart in the bright stripes i have black orange and red a little bit of green some yellow honestly i had a ton of this so i thought it was just time to like clear it out find some use for it. I ended up making a bunch of hats to donate and a bunch of hats to gift away. So I have some presents all ready to go. I have a nice little closet ready, all stocked with some of my presents for whatever, birthdays, holidays, doesn't matter. I was like, hey, I haven't seen you in a while, have a hat, cause you know, I enjoy your company type of present. My closet is almost entirely full with stuff like that right now. Again, this is really, really good. It's 100% acrylic. If you know, you know, it's red heart it's nothing that is crazy out there definitely not new in any way shape or form it uses a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook which I feel like that worsted weight type of yarn works perfect for the adding machine so it made some really nice hats I also did make a couple of stuffies with this too the rainbow bright stripe one I am currently still working on this stuffy but I pulled apart all the colors so it was a little bit of a tedious kind of process to pull all the colors out and everything but that was the whole point I wanted to use up my stash yarn I didn't want to get any more colors colors for projects for April. So I went ahead and did that and I used my yarn winder. It makes the process so much easier. More red heart, red heart, red hearts. Like I said, I used a lot of it. Impeccable. Okay. So this one, I know exactly what I use this for. Well, I used it for many things in April, but impeccable yarn. I love using this to make stuffies. The yarn is really tightly wound. It doesn't get snagged in your hook and it looks nice too. So the one that I made, we had a crochet along throughout the month of April, which happened to be halfway to Halloween. So made by Jody 666 and I collaborated together to bring you a Binks inspired cat stuffy. I made two. One of them I made out of this one, the buttercream one that is discontinued, but another smaller version I made out of the impeccable one because I used the color citron. I, for some reason, have so much of this color. I do not know what I got it for. I'm thinking I must've got it on clearance or something because I have so much of it. I did not even make a dent in it this month. Here is the Finnish Binks inspired cat that I did. This one was more like a Frankenstein type of style. I absolutely adore this though. I have two other ones that I'm starting now using the impeccable yarn, but I'm using like a black and orange and then I'm doing a black and purple. Again, I already had those here in the yarn dungeon, so it's not anything that I bought, but obviously I haven't used a full skein of that yet, so I don't have the tag. I'm just letting you know because if you've never tried impeccable yarn and you like to make plushies, definitely give this a go. It's a yarn that you can find at Michael's. Go onto their site and they have so many different colors. Like it's ridiculous. They have a ton of different solid colors, which is what I like and what I have a huge stockpile of. But then they do have some like rainbow ones, some self striping ones. Honestly, just go ahead and check it out because it's adorable. And then I did get the stuffing for this from Michaels as well because it is the black polyfill which is my all-time favorite instead of using the white polyfill stuffing and you'd be able to see it a little bit better I mean you can see especially on the neck you can see a little bit of the stuffing coming through but I like it because it's black stuffing so it definitely goes with the aesthetic and the vibe of the Franken cat they definitely need a name I haven't given them a name yet the bigger one that I made that's in the movie room is the Binks inspired cat which was actually the all black cat with yellow eyes but this one this one needs a different name right because it's it's a franken cat it needs another name next 
we have go for faux how many of these i don't know i felt like i used so many of these on the blanket i kind of just kept going until i ran out but like i showed you the whole edging of the blanket was using this go for faux this is not discontinued so if you want to go ahead and try it out definitely do it is 100 percent polyester that's what it looks like there 100% polyester, a six, super bulky number six, suggesting a nine millimeter crochet hook. I used a seven millimeter crochet hook with it because I was using the buttercream. And with that one, I was using a nine millimeter crochet hook. So in order to make the stitches a little bit similar, because this gopher faux was just so big and so fluffy, I went down a couple of sizes. That way it didn't end up being, my rows with the gopher faux weren't like super long and like stuck out. It made the blanket more of an even rectangle and it worked really well. This one you can machine wash again, gently lay flat to dry. No matter what, I wouldn't even put this in the dryer for any reason because all the fluffy would just come off or get compacted or burned a little bit. That is the worst when you make something super soft and you forget about it. It just gets tossed in the dryer and you have like crunchy bits on it. Nobody wants that on a blanket especially. So laying it flat to dry is totally the way to go. This one had 3.5 ounces. I had a ton of it. This is, I can only find three right now. I'm sure I'll find more as I keep on digging, but I used a ton of this. And I had it all in one color, chinchilla. Again, do not know what I had all this planned for. It just went together so perfectly for the blanket. You would have thought that I had this plan to make this blanket, but I got these yarns completely different times. So I don't know, maybe I was wanting to make the scarf that was on the front here because that looks super cozy. I would totally do that. If you like the scarf too, all you need to do is go to linebrands.com. Again, underneath it, yeah, they don't have it on the inside here, but you just go to their website and they have so many different scarves. You can even type in the type of yarn that you're using and it'll pull up a bunch of patterns that it suggests. Not a new yarn by any way, shape or form. So there are a ton of different patterns using this. Furls Wander Yarn. Cannot tell you how much of this I use. The main thing that I use this yarn for was my Friday the 13th inspired cardigan, which I don't even know where that is. I need to find that. So this was something that I ended up buying. It wasn't in my stash yarn. The black or the obsidian, I did have that, but not enough. So I did have to put an order in for obsidian, pomegranate, and white, but I'm not sure what the white is called. I can't remember. I don't know. I can't remember what it is. I'll find it down in there. But those are the three colors that I used and I made two different versions of that cardigan. One was a little bit shorter, one was a little bit longer. The one that I settled on though is the little bit shorter one. Let me find it so I can show you here. There are many, many different things that I like to use this yarn for. I've even started using it for plushies because I just love the colors and I have so much of this yarn. But cardigans, it's probably my favorite thing to use this yarn for. It's super, super soft. You can throw it in the wash. I don't throw mine in the dryer. I don't remember, can you even throw it in the dryer? I'm thinking not. Yeah, it says don't throw it in the dryer, but it's 100% acrylic yarn. It's a super soft and super lightweight type of yarn. But as I found out with certain stitches, like I used, which was a single crochet or a half double crochet in the back loop only, one of those I used that as a starter for this pattern. It ended up being very, very heavy and very, very warm. Wintertime, I'll definitely go ahead and create more cardigans like that. Just a big, heavy, chunky one, maybe to like actually wear outside type of a deal. Like one with buttons and maybe a big collar. But I wanted this one to be a lightweight, airy type of cardigan since we're coming up to spring. I mean, we are, we're in spring. It is spring, we're coming up to summer. Again, I'm obsessed with this color. It's called pomegranate. I use it for so many things. I have this, I have some sweatpants made out of it, socks, hats, but I have my Jason Lives patch along with Camp Crystal Lake on here. I'm obsessed with this cardigan. I really do love it, especially with the big chunky stitching here. This is actually a zigzag stitch to seam everything together. I normally use the mattress stitch, but I like changed it up a little bit for this cardigan and I'm so glad that I did. I will definitely be using it a lot more. I really, really love the look and style. It just looks so distressed, you know? It's big, thick, chunky, especially for a slasher type of cardigan big, intense, in your face. That's the kind of stitches that I'm going for. So I used a ton of that right there. I have five, one, two, three, four, five, 
six more, 10, 12, like a lot. Honestly, pretty much the whole rest of this bottom is that. Is there anything different? We have another gopher faux. We're coming up to the end here. Another impeccable in, same color. Black, impeccable in black. What did I use this for? For the Binks inspired plushie, I know I used a little bit of this on the stitches where it's on like the neck and the eye, but I don't know what I used the rest of this for. There's another plushie that's still in play. It's not finished yet, but yes, I used this for an entirely different stuffy. Hopefully, oh gosh, I keep like knocking it. I'm just gonna hold on to this. Hopefully that will be done here very soon so I can show that off as well. Another, it's another Coraline theme project that I'm using. So that's where I use most of it. So like, I did not use, it was just a stitch on the eye and on the neck. Another Wander. What's this one? This one is different. Okay, Amigo 100% acrylic in color 41. Okay, I'm gonna have to look this up. This is Hobie yarn. So Migo 100% acrylic Hobie yarn. And if you're familiar with Hobie yarn, they don't write the color names on here. They do the lot number and then they do a color number. So you go onto their site, find that line of yarn and find the number that associates with it. As I knock my coffee off, I am just all over the place today. If I'm gonna guess, I'm thinking maybe black. This one is a dark red. Okay, so that makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna show you. That's the color that I used. Again, I used this for a couple of different plushies. It has, how much does it have in here? 50 grams. It suggests a five to six millimeter crochet hook. I'm pretty sure that I used a five. No, I used a three, cause I used it for a plushie. So I used a three millimeter hook for this, nice and squished it down and everything. A uh, number four medium. This one, you can actually put it in the wash and the dryer. I use this yarn quite often, especially for things like mittens and hats because it just holds up really well. Let's do one more check, make sure what is the very last one. Last one is buttercream. Again, I used so much of this and in black. And that's it. We are finished nice and empty here, ready to go for this next month. What do we have to look forward to this month? So it is May, again, we are in spring. So a lot more of the number four medium to like fingering weight yarn. That's what I have going on right this second. Lightweight cardigans, tons of crop tops, tons of shorts that I've been making, some tees, some bucket hats. I don't wear hats a ton, but in the summer, I like a good bucket hat. So I've been using yarn for that, but a number four medium, that's what I've been using. So all of this stuff, apart from the Wander, because I do have a couple of plans for that. I have a couple of plushies going using the Wander yarn, and then I have another, I wanna say cardigan. I'm pretty sure it's a cardigan. It's either a cardigan or a sweater that I have going with the Wander yarn already because I love it, I have a ton of it. Now that I've kind of cleared out some of my yarn stash, I need to organize. Either I'm gonna have to get another yarn coffin or maybe some shelving on the wall. I haven't really figured out yet the direction I wanna go, but either way, I need to add more storage into the yarn dungeon so I can get all of the yarn out that I have right now and I just wanna be able to see it. Like, what do I have for the summer? I cleaned some out from April. Like, like what do I have going into the summer? Because there are quite a few things of yarn that I have planned that I wanna actually order. But if I already have that color or that style in the yarn dungeon, I'm not gonna like double up on it. You know what I mean? All right, ghouls, but that is all I have for you today. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me, checking out some of the yarn that I use. Let me know in the comments down below, what was some of your favorite yarn that you used for April that you love, you absolutely have to have. I always like to know, I'm a little bit nosy. I like to know, what do you like? Definitely want to try it out too. So shout it out in the comments down below. Otherwise, have a fantastically spooky day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.